In the lowland rainforests of South America, a symphony fills the air. Even the smallest singers join in. But some prefer to stay silent. Hidden within the leaves, these bats remain still, while most bats move into existing properties, like caves or hollow trees. A few species can build their own homes. They nibble along the midrib of a leaf until it droops into a cosy tent, a shelter from predators and harsh weather. The leaves are easily shaken, ringing like alarm bells at the signs of danger to allow the occupants a quick escape. But eventually the tent decays and the bats will need to rebuild. A feat of architecture that may take several nights to complete. In colder climates, bats prefer roosting in caves to keep warm. They nestle together in large numbers. But in the tropics, the luxury of warmth is a given and this frees them to roost elsewhere. For those that like fruits, living among the trees is the most logical option, a place with closer access to food. In the Philostomidae bat family, foliage roosting evolved at least once from cavity roosting, with many species co-evolving an exclusive diet on fruits. Some roost in the foliage as it is, sheltering beneath the unaltered leaves, but from this behaviour evolved tent making. At least 20 species of tent makers work within the rainforests, all of which are small. As one of the smallest, Honduran white bats are like cotton balls. Such a size may be necessary before the behaviour can evolve, so that a single leaf could support and hide the occupant. In some species, tent making may have been driven largely by sexual selection. Typically, a single male lives with a group of females. Males may have learned to construct tents as a way of attracting mates with the more skillful builders more handsome. The unique design not only provides extra protection, but also allows them to defend the harem against rivals. In Honduran white bats, females join in with construction. Building tents is expensive work, especially for a tiny ball of fluff. Alone, it may take a week to build, but together, the bats can safely roost within two days. Across both new and old world bats, tent making has evolved independently at least twice. This convergence stems from similar pressures on small fruit eating bats, inspiring these little architects of the rainforests. <laughs> 